It's, they're dynamic. They're more than dynamic. They really become alive in your hand. But before you attempt this form, or any weapon, make sure that uh, you understand the characteristics of each weapon. Now, we're going to use the Kempo concepts and principles, of course, but as you're doing it, remember what you do with your hands, the, your hands and your feet act a certain way because you know where they are all the time. Whereas when you put a weapon in your hand, it changes a little bit, considerably, depending upon what kind of weapon you're putting in there. Now, in this form, we're using two sticks, and when you look at the stick, I'm going to use these rattan sticks, which is pretty common, pretty traditional. They're not too heavy, they're not too light, but they're strong enough so that they can take abuse and so forth. But uh, there's a center, of course, and there's both ends. And the reason it may seem a little simplistic, but we use all three ranges of the stick itself. Okay, now, when we strike without a weapon, particularly in Kempo, we have thrusting, like punches. We have whipping, like finger whips or back knuckles. We have thrusting chops and so forth. And we can pretty much make our hands do anything we want them to do. But when you add the stick, suddenly people get rigid in their hands and they think that when they're doing a, a technique with the sticks, for instance, in the first part of this form, when we do five storms, which is a version of five swords, you see people get very, very rigid all the way through, and when they cross the hit, they hit as if the arm and a stick are just frozen in one position. That's what I don't want you to do, okay? I want you to handle the sticks more loosely. Take the index finger and the thumb and get used to whipping so that, yes, when we do block with, uh, with uh, inward blocks, they are rigid, but then they loosen up and they flow, and they flow from the wrist and the fingers. They don't flow from the forearms. They flow from the wrist and the fingers. And then, yes, we lock out strong on our strikes here, but if I cross over to hit somebody, I don't hammer it with a stiff action, but I, I cross over with a whip action. And not only does the striking stick become a whipping action, but the bottom hand becomes a whipping action. And that's where you become, get familiar, become familiar with the action and the characteristics of the stick. So when you watch me in this form, I want you to watch where there are points that, yes, when the stick is straight and rigid, but you'll see other times when it's loose and relaxed and has a whipping action. So I practice from, you know, you could take something like short form one and just practice stepping back and whipping over the head, coming across your body, but get used to figure eights as well, which is a, uh, a master key movement in using the sticks. You figure eights plus overlapping circles with figure eights, and you'll see that in the forms as well, okay? It's a wonderful weapon. It also gives you a, a greater insight into the art of Kempo, because any time that you add a weapon to your hands, the dimension of what you already know increases tenfold. Have fun with it, and if those of you at home that are on my home study course, remember to give me a call if you have any questions about this, or email, and I'll be happy to help you.
All right, now I'm going to take you through this. Let's take it step by step. And we'll take it slowly, and I want you to watch as carefully as you can. Now, I'm going to be facing 12 o'clock. That's my, going to be my starting point, my reference point. And we're going to use the clock principle in learning this form. We'll take our time. Let's have some fun doing it. All right? So facing 12 o'clock, put both of the sticks together. And place it, tuck it up underneath your arm and right behind your right rib cage and start in an attention stance. All right, we face 12 o'clock. We do the formal salutation, which is the same basic salutation in the Kempo system. So we cross forward, right front crossover, as if we were doing left over right for short form one or any other kata. We step forward, and we show that the weapon of choice right now is going to be the sticks. Then we bring, tuck them in, bring them into your chest, in your lower chest where your solar plexus is, and cradle them. Both sticks cradle them like this. And as you step back from the salutation, bring your hands down, and so that you're going to be holding them down at the lower case end of the stick. Now step out with your left leg to your horse and make the shape of a triangle. At this point, you cross them over and make an open-ended triangle, and then we clash them together, and then we come back into the salutation with right over left. And so we have an open-ended triangle at the bottom of the close here. Now from here, we step back into a right neutral bow and execute a unit right inward universal block. All that is is a right inward block with a stick and a left downward block. So as we step back, they move together. At this point, we stay in our neutral and we do an execute an outward, what well, would be an outward hand sword, but it would be an outward strike with a stick and bring the other hand to our hip at the same time. But you notice that when I did it, I made a small circle or a half circle curve back to my waist as I did this, this movement here. Okay, now I go to a forward bow and execute a straight thrust as if I would do in five swords, it would be a heel palm strike. Now it's a straight thrust with the left hand, pivot back into my neutral and execute a diagonal thrust, straight thrust with my bottom hand. Now still facing 12 o'clock, I step off with my left leg to 4 o'clock and execute a right forward bow, an outward strike and a, with a left hand and a right downward strike at the same time. Now I do a right front crossover towards 9 o'clock, remember I'm facing 12, crossover and execute a looping overhead strike with the right hand. And you notice how I did that, that when I stepped off, I executed like I was going to chop at the end of five swords, chopping to the side of the neck, now I cross over and hit again. And now what I've ended up here is with an open-ended triangle at this level. I step back, repeat it on this side. So now I'm on the left side. So if you watch me again, from this point here, I step back with my left leg, and then I overlap these circles and do a universal block on the other side. Then I execute the same technique, step off this time to 8 o'clock, front crossover, and do an outward strike with the left hand, just like I did the other side. And try to drop your height and get as low as you can to use marriage of gravity in this. Now at this point, you step with your right foot to 4 o'clock, and you're off angling your opponent. And as you do, you overlap your circles and do a universal block again. And now you're in a right neutral bow. So from this right neutral bow and the universal block, you do reversing storms, or which is basically reversing mace in a system. Overlap the circles, hit the target, which in this case, as we go through the techniques in the other video, I'll show you what targets to hit. In this case, I want you to think of the ribs at this point. And from here, you drop that same hand down as if you were striking somebody's knee in front of you, do an outward, downward, outward strike, loop it over, and back to the top again. Okay, so from this point, it looks like this. Drop it down over the top, hit. Okay, outward strike, another outward strike into a forward bow, cross over, overlap those circles just like we did in the other technique. Now this time I take my left leg and step out to eight o'clock, Repeat the same pattern, same thing as we did on the other side. And then we step out to 4 o'clock, 
I do uh, overlapping circles again, and I'll move up just a little bit so you can see where I'm at. As I step back and I do an outward block with the left hand, and I do a figure eight down at this level with this hand. The figure eight comes inward and then outward. And then it loops up overhead as this one loops down and make a complete circle as I cross back across that center line. Now I step out with my left leg and repeat it on this side. And you can see how it's the same action as I did before. All right, now I'm gonna move up a little bit. From this position, I step out with my right foot to six o'clock so that I'm in a left neutral bow. I clasp my sticks together, all right? Now, I step forward, which is stepping through, and strike and clash them again, this time with the right underneath the left. I step forward again with another step through and hammer. Rear cross over in the same direction, hammer again, unwind and clash the sticks again, right over left. Okay, now at this point, I step back and repeat the pattern on this side, cross over and hit again. All right, now I'm facing two o'clock and I have that open-ended triangle that we started with. So as I come out of that position, I go into the next technique, which I parry, rake, rake back, block and hammer, strike. Now these are gonna be overlapping circles with the right, with the left, with the right, with the left, with the right, Cross behind again, this time I have my open-ended triangle facing the corresponding 45 degree angle. I was facing two o'clock, now I'm facing 10 o'clock. And now we do the left side of what we just did. So it'll be a right inward parry. And then we do the same pattern, but now it's a right front crossover. And now I'm gonna execute a break with both sticks. So as I stepped out of that, I break, I step through towards nine o'clock, raking the ribs, and unwind, catching the ribs again. And you notice that when I did that, I came across and had the shape of an L. And then as I unwind, I repeat that same shape. I check down and let this ride up. Check down again, do a reverse step through, and then parallel the sticks at this point. I tilt them upwards, as I make a break again, step through, make the shape of the L on this side again, up, and this time the left arm is over the right. And I'm facing 12 o'clock. Now, looking off at my 45, which will be eight o'clock, I overlap the circles. Okay, watch me do it again. I'm here, I drop the left one down, overlap the circles, make my strike. Do a thrusting sweep kick on that same line, which will be from 10 to two. Overlap my sticks, keep that open-ended triangle, which you'll learn about later in the, in the techniques. Unwind, open-ended triangle again. I'm actually making a plus at this point, okay? Still facing <coughs> this angle here. I'm gonna step through with a right front snap kick and overhead hammer. Strike with the right hand, checking with the bottom. Now I just pivot in place to a reverse bow, and both sticks are gonna unwind and hit behind me. It's very easy, okay? Now the corresponding 45, there's 12 o'clock. There's two would be four o'clock. So I step off towards four and repeat the same pattern. I'm in a forward bow here, make my kick, hammer, reverse bow strike again. Now I'm gonna take my left leg, step to six, facing 12 o'clock. All right, now all I do is I take my right hand, swing it down, make a full circle, and reverse that circle. Rear crossover, step out with my left leg, and I'm on the other side. Make a full circle, reverse that circle, cross out, okay? Now at this point, when I cross out towards six, I'm gonna step off to six, or actually 5.30, then I'm gonna step off and repeat a similar pattern <coughs> over at this angle again. 
If that's 12, that would be 10. This would be 8 o'clock over here. Repeat the same pattern that we did two techniques back, except the end of this technique is going to be a little different. We're going to kick again, and we're going to hammer, but we're going to overlap our circles as we step through to a reverse bow. Okay, now watch me do that again. <coughs> when I came through with the kick, I hammered just like we did before, but now I overlap the circles and then repeat it on a corresponding angle, which would be 4 o'clock. Cross, step back, step through, hammer, overlapping circles. Okay, now at this point, I'm going to take my left foot and make an adjusted step. And as I do, I'm going to step up and hammer and block at the same time. Now we're going to have three tearing down overlapping circles. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then I'm going to do a side kick with the right leg. I'm still facing 12. Step to 12 o'clock and do it on this side. One, two, three, four, five, six. Drop down to a closed kneel. Side kick. Step over to 12 o'clock. Pivot into a twist stance. Unwind. Check. Step through. Rake. Parallel the sticks. We had them once like this on one side, now we have it on, a, on this angle here, okay? Now, I step through to 6 o'clock, repeat it on this side, just like I did before, okay? Now, from here, I step over to 9 o'clock, double parry, a similar uh, pattern that we've already used, sweep, check, left cat stance. Low open into triangle, front snap kick, right side kick, still facing 9 o'clock. And as I come down, I plant my foot, and then I break with my knee, left knee. Step back, step off with my right foot, still facing 9 o'clock. Cross towards 3. Now I'm in a right cat stance. Same pattern, same angle. Hit, break. All right, now, as you finish the break on this side, you plant to 9 o'clock, do a cover step over what's below 9 o'clock would be 8 o'clock. You step and you cover with the left stick coming over the right. So what you're doing is you're going to come down here, you're going to plant, cover step, triangle. Open, front snap kick with the left leg, step through right front snap kick. Plant. This is a double, double rake. Inward, outward. Rear crossover. Now as I rear crossover, I drop my left and I start looping my right around and down with the crossover. They move together. I reverse bow, strike, and check. Sandwich. Step up. Switch stance. Go into a twist stance, and you've seen this pattern before. Now stay in the twist stance and just step back, check with the right hand, check with the left, step forward, and hammer. Then we're going to repeat it on the other side. You're going to take your left leg, and you're going to step over to, if that's 12, this will be 4 o'clock, and it'll be the right hand clashing down on a stick. Open them, snap kick. Step through snap kick, double strikes, rear crossover, strike again, sandwich, switch your stances, twist, unwind check, and hammer. Now from here, I'm facing 10 o'clock. There's 12. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my right leg, step to 6 o'clock into a twist stance, do a right outward downward, unwind with a left inward block. Now as I do that, I block and let this hand dangle out here or hang because we're going to do a version of thundering storms. But from here you do a roundhouse, low roundhouse kick, plant, shuffle forward, just like if you're doing thundering hammers. All right. 
Now we rear cross again and do a downward block, repeat the pattern. Same thing. Come in. Now we step off, we do a right rear crossover towards 9 o'clock, and I wipe as I step with my left leg. Go into a version of leaping crane, which we call leaping storm, where you parry and you rake, side kick. This would be a back knuckle if you were doing that without the stick. Step over, check, and hit the head. Do a reverse step through, bring the head around, check, twist stance, and hammer, and meet the action. Okay? Now I step out with my right leg to a horse, facing 12, wipe again as I leap off, and repeat the pattern again. Now I'll back up just a little bit. Side kick and hit. Same pattern. And twist stance. And now we're going to finish the form. Universal, universal. Out, out. Outward block, rake. Outward block, rake. And you bring them both up. Then you double rake. Okay, it'll be the left over right, and then right over left. Down, up. Bring them under your armpits, and as you come to a tension stance, bring them back out. All right, now, from this position, you just repeat the salutation that we started with. Come down, make your triangle, open into triangle, clash them together, and you just finish the form. Take your time, have fun with it.
All right, that's the end of the tape. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got a lot out of it. I want you to practice it, you know, not just in the studio or just in your home. Go out to a park. Go out to a place that you're unfamiliar with. Um, remember, when you do a kata facing the same direction, you get accustomed to that. Also, try it with bare feet. Try it with shoes on, with boots or whatever, okay? Look forward to seeing you in my next video. Also, on, on this subject, there's a number two video which has all the self-defense techniques with the sticks. So I encourage you to get involved with that as well. Nice seeing you again, and I'll see you in my next video.